This video is on sample space and events within the topic of probability. The sample space of an experiment is a set of its possible outcomes. We usually use a capital U to represent the sample space and we call this a universal set of possible outcomes. Now when we're representing a sample space, we can use different tools. The three we're going to look at are lists, two-dimensional grids and tree diagrams. An event is a set of outcomes in the sample space that have a particular property. The complement of an event E is E dash, that's how we write it out, and that means that E does not occur. First example, when two coins are tossed, the possible outcomes are two heads, a head and a tail, a tail and a head, and two tails. Now I want to represent the sample space using each of the things we said before, a list, a 2D grid, and a tree diagram. So when we do this as a list, Generally, we would want to write it in set notation. So we do a little curly brackets and we'd have a head and a head, head and a tail, tail and a head, and then tail and a tail. That's how we do it as a list. Now on a 2D grid, we draw a set of axes. We label our heads and tails. So head, tail, head, tail. So this would be coin one, this would be coin two. And then we just put dots at the possible outcome. So we could have a head then a head, a tail then a head, a head then a tail, or a tail then a tail. And lastly is a tree diagram. So we have the first coin, which we could have a head or a tail. So this is coin one. And then coin two comes off that. So we could have a head first and then a head or a tail or a tail first. And then the second coin could have a head or a tail. So that's our three different options of representing sample spaces. Example two, two marbles are drawn from a bag containing red, green, and yellow marbles. Let E be the event that at least one red marble is drawn. Draw a tree diagram to represent the sample space. Highlight the outcomes corresponding to event E. And in part B, list the outcomes in E using set notation. So first of all, we're just going to draw a tree diagram. Now we've got a bag that has three different colored marbles, red, green, and yellow. So when we draw a tree diagram, we're going to need three branches, one for red, one for green, and one for yellow. And that will be marble one. Then from each of those, we need another three branches because we could still pick out a red, a green, or a yellow marble from each of those. Now it said highlight the outcomes corresponding to event E. So event E in the question is at least one red marble is drawn. So if we're going to highlight that, at least one red marble, we could have this path, we could have the red and then the red. We could have a red first then a green, or a red first and a yellow. We still have one red marble in all those three situations. Now if we were to have marble one wasn't a red, so we started with a green, to have this event e occurring, we can only have the red marble for the second one and the same with the yellow. So if we started with a yellow marble to still have at least a red, we would then need a red after the yellow is drawn. Now, when we're drawing a tree diagram, I would also like you to always write the outcomes straight away on the side. Our outcomes would be a red and a red, a red and a green, red and yellow, green and red, green, 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 yellow, yellow, red, yellow, green, and yellow, yellow. When we start working out probabilities with tree diagrams, having all your outcomes written out like that can make it a lot simpler um, and you're less likely to make a mistake. So that was part A. Now part B lists the outcomes in, in E using set notation. So set notation means we're going to have our event E equals, we're going to have our curly brackets. Now all our options of our event E, which is the event that we pull out at least one red marble. So all those highlighted paths is what we're gonna have. So our first one would be a red, we pick out first and a red. So that's the first lines we drew. And then we could have a red and a green or a red and a yellow. We could then have a green and a red or a yellow and a red. So they are all the options that we highlighted in that tree diagram. And that is the end of this video.